Hi, my name is Gaius. And my name is Bia. Welcome to our series where we have the wonderful opportunity to talk with the staff from the Singapore Association for the Deaf. Join us as we dive in to find out more about the heroes behind the scenes. Hi, my name is Yemi. Uh, I'm the Vice Principal of Mountbatten Vocational School. I've been working here for about nine years. As the vice principal, I oversee the whole operations of the school. Um, so I do the timetable for teachers, uh, uh, let the students uh, get their classes because we have uh, new enrollments every year. So we have new students uh, this year and they're just uh, getting to know their classes and friends. We cater to students between the ages of 14 to 21 years old um, with various disabilities such as uh, those who are deaf and hard of hearing, uh, those with uh, autistic uh, autism and uh, Down syndrome and just basically any other disabilities. We offer vocational subjects in housekeeping food and beverage services, and food preparation. Um, apart from that, uh, we offer academic lessons in English and mathematics, uh, as well as value-added curriculum in fashion classes, uh, microgreens, basic office skills, and uh, uh, physical education. They can contact our main line um, to book an appointment uh, with us. Um, or they can apply online and send their applications online. Then around the end of the year in November or December, we will get in touch with them to come down uh, and make payments for their registration. With advancement in technology and more support uh, available to the deaf and hard of hearing community, on our part, uh, we hope to uh, give them the uh, independence and um, also the confidence to you know, uh, reach out to more opportunities and possibilities outside. Um, yeah. um, at the end of the school years, uh, we hope that all our graduates will be able to be gainfully employed. Uh, there's one uh, story, uh, it's quite wholesome. Uh, we had a student from, a deaf student from Malaysia about four or five years ago. Um, so she came to Singapore and enrolled with uh, Mabitan Vocational School. Um, but she didn't complete her SPM, uh, the equivalent of uh, our local GCSE level. Um, yeah, so no other schools uh, took her in. So we took her in and then uh, we realised that she is actually a fast learner uh, and also academically inclined. So we reached out to BT Secondary School um, to see if they would accept her. Um, however, one condition was that she had to pass their entrance assessment. So in order to prepare her for that, uh, we went through intensive uh, coaching, tutoring with her, uh, gave her all practice papers. Uh, and uh, in the end, she managed to pass the entrance exams and she finished, uh, she got into BT Secondary School, uh, she graduated and now she's in one of our local polytechnics. Well, I would say that MVS is different from all the other special educational schools out there because we provide a very customised um, approach to all of our students. Uh, because of our small school, um, all our teachers know each and every student. So with uh, a small number of uh, about 65 uh, students in total, um, all of us know each of the students' quirks, uh, uh, what triggers them and how to help them. For the word of advice is that do approach your school personnel from teachers or even the AEDs, um, especially to parents, uh, to let them know about this program. Uh, because 
the referral has to be from the school, right? So parents are not able to kind of like walk in and just refer themselves in. If, uh, you can't do that. So our advice to parents is to approach their form teachers or the allied educators in the school uh, and to let them know that you want your child to be referred to the itinerant support service and they will help you with the process of uh, referral.